Nice to have you again my friends and in this edition we're going to be looking at the January 2013 the solutions to the paper one the multiple choice paper here in question one they're asking us what percentage of 36 and a quick way of solving this my friends I'm going to show you a little trick I'm just going to say okay since they're asking us for a percentage I'm going to say 6 upon 30 let's just do it right here 6 upon 30 and they're asking us for the percentage. So I'm multiplying by 100, okay? So basically, if we should simplify this, guys, I could say 10 into 30 goes three times, and 10 into 100 goes, because this is 100 upon one, 10 into 100 goes 10 times, okay? And if you notice here, I have a three here, so I could say three into itself goes once, and three into six goes two times, okay? And then I could just multiply across. Since we have nothing else to cancel out, I'm saying two times 10, and that will be equal to 20. So that would give me a total of 20%. So obviously, a C is our answer, correct answer, okay? Now, let's move on quickly to question number two. Here, they're asking us to find the exact value of 6 divided by 0 .3, 0 0.003, rather, is, and here they gave us our options. So, a neat little trick um, when asked to divide by decimals, um, if you notice, the 6 here, the number at the front, uh, is called my dividend, dividend and the number at the back here is called my divisor. All right, so first, since it's a decimal, I'm going to convert my divisor to a whole number. And I can simply do that by saying 0 0.003, and I'm going to multiply by, I'm going to use a one to replace the decimal point. So this one replaces my decimal point and then I'm going to count how many place values I have behind the decimal point so count with me uh, let me just change the color quickly so this would be one one this would be two and this would be three okay so since there are three placeholders I'm going to add three zeros okay to my one so I'm basically I'm multiplying by a thousand so this implies okay my friends that remember when we are multiplying by powers of 10 is as if we're shifting the decimal point to the right so really what I'm saying is 0 0.003 and if I'm multiplying by a thousand it's as if I'm shifting the decimal point to the right so I'm jumping through three times okay so this is one two three okay now remember what you do to your um, divisor we must do to our dividend so I'm going to do the same thing since I multiply by a thousand I'm going to say six multiplied by one thousand and I'm doing the same thing to it so the value doesn't change okay if I don't then um, it would be incorrect so I'm going to say 6 times 1,000 would give me 6,000, okay? So really, what I'm dividing now, my friends, I am saying 3, if you notice here, because if you notice what I got here, this would work out to be 3, okay? So I'm really saying my, let's just change the color a bit, I'm saying 6,000 now divided by 3. So I'm saying, let's just draw our line. So I'm saying 6,000, 6,000 divided by 3. That's what I'm really saying now, my friends. All right. And this is pretty easier to divide than the decimals. And remember, in this exam, you don't use a calculator. So, you know, this is an easy uh, way of doing it. So 3 into 6 goes 2 times. 3 into 0 goes 0. 3 into 0 goes 0 times, and 3 into 0 goes 0 times. So therefore, our answer is 2,000, okay? And it's pretty much that easy. Hope that this was useful. See you in the next video for the solutions to questions 3 and 4, okay? But before we go, let's just quickly circle our correct answer. That's 2,000. So it would be option B, okay? That option. Bye-bye.